Hey guys, Katie Cleaver here. I wanted to do a quick example of a report of a patient on a cardiac med surge unit, uh, just so you can kind of just feel and hear how much information is provided typically in the med surge environment, med surge level of care. All right, so the patient's name is Michael Scott. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a totally fictional patient. Um, I didn't take care of this person. I made all this up, okay? So this is Michael Scott. He's a 46 year old male. He's a full code. He's a patient of Dr. Smith with CV surgery. He's allergic to penicillin and he is not on isolation. His past medical history includes GERD, hypertension, anxiety, uh, depression, and uh, diabetes. On the 10th, he presented to the emergency department with uh, chest pain. They did a cardiac cath and found multi-vessel disease. So on the 11th, he had a three vessel cabbage from Dr. Smith. He went to CV, CVICU after that. On the 13th, his art line, uh, central venous catheter, and Foley were all discontinued and, his, um, and he was then transferred to our unit on the floor. On the 14th, his chest tube was switched to water seal and he did the stairs with uh, cardiac rehab. On the 15th, his chest tubes were discontinued and he had his cardiac class. Today, the 16th, what needs to happen is he needs to have a shower and hopefully he gets to go home today. Um, he has a number 20 in his right lower arm. He's on room air, cardiac diet, Q4 hour vitals, ACNHS AccuChecks. He has no drains. He has normal sinus on telly. Um, he has his, as far as skin is concerned, he has his mid-sternal incision, his four chest tube sites, and his harvest sites on his legs. They are all well approximated. None of them are red. He's got a little ecchymiosis on the legs, um, and the sutures are intact with the chest tube dry, um, sites, and there is no drainage anywhere. It looks great. Um, he is using his incentive spirometer pretty well. Sometimes he needs reminding. Oh, and also with his cardiac diet, he's on a two liter fluid restriction. And sometimes he needs some reminding like, hey, you know, don't chug that water. You know, you're at this much today, at this point, like you can only have this much more because um, he tends to want to drink a whole bunch. Um, let's see. He has SCDs um, for his VTE prophylaxis. He's walked quite a few times and he's a standby assist and he does pretty well with his sternal precautions. As far as pain goes, he's got Tylenol and, and Norco ordered. Um, last time he just wanted a Tylenol, his pain was about a three and that brought it down to about a zero. And it was just some kind of mid-sternal incision aching and it took care of that pretty well. Um, last bowel movement, he's actually had quite a few. I ended up holding his coles and his senna because he had a loose stool for me and had two loose stools yesterday. Uh, so I uh, might want to consider holding that again today. Um, yeah, so that's that. The only other thing is he, for transportation home, his wife is going to bring him home, but she's going to give us a call. I guess she has to get some things situated with work and a couple things set up at home. So she's going to let us know what time she can be here to actually bring him home. Um, the referral for home care has already been completed, um, so he should be uh, good to go once he gets his shower done and you get your discharge orders. Do you have any questions? There you go. That's my report, guys. Um, it's not as detailed as the ICU, but it's a little bit more information than like the ED to ED report. So yeah, so that is my uh, patient Michael Scott in the <laughs> cardiac med surge unit, and that's my example. If you want to go ahead and um, I have some links below with um, a full blog post about this and some more resources for med surge nursing. Thanks, guys.